It's your boy Miles Cunningham. Shout out to Lucario. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody that's on the Bad Boy membership. If you are on the Bad Boy membership, then in only a couple of days, you will be able to see the Game Kings documentary. You'll be one of the first people to see the Game Kings documentary. Um, like I said, we, uh, we're doing it that way because we're trying to really thank the people that, you know, support the, support the program, support the operation, you know, support what me and, me and Lucario, you know, put together as far as content and stuff like that. You know, really appreciate you guys. And, um, you guys allow the game to, to keep flowing, right? You guys keep the show going so we can keep the game flowing, right? So we really appreciate you guys. And like, you know, Everybody that's on a bad boy membership, you are the ones that really make it happen. So if you if you really appreciate what we do, and you know you you have a you have use for the bad boy membership, and you, you want to make this stuff a lifestyle, you wanna you wanna you know turn this game thing into a lifestyle. I suggest you get on the bad boy membership. Of course, not to mention you'll be able to see the um, Game Kings documentary right away. You get what I'm saying? Um, and you know as well as all the other benefits of being on the bad boy membership. All right. So really appreciate you guys. So today what I wanted to talk about is never let a woman dictate her value to you. Never let a woman dictate her value to you. Okay. This is why um, I always talk about identity. I always talk about knowing who you are as a man. That way you can, you can understand what you require. You can understand what you need. Because what happens is a lot of times you meet a, you meet a chick. She might be pretty, she might be cute, she might she might have money, she might have a house, she might she might have all all these different things, right? Cuz you know, you have a lot of women these days, they um <clears throat> they doing for self, you know, they make their own money, it's all good, whatever, whatever, right? So, it's like they feel like they're bringing something to the table. Or you know, they feel like shit is built in, like I'm already bringing something to the table. And then they want to try to Sometimes they even try to compete with you and be like, oh, what you got? What are you bringing to the table? Because I already got a house and I already got this and da, 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 right? And the thing is, they try to dictate their value to you. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, well, I understand you have a house, but how is that, how is that directly helping me? You get what I'm saying? If, if we have a house, if, if you own a house, unless, unless I'm able to, you know, have you move into another spot with me and then we rent your house out, or we Airbnb your house and we both benefit off the profits from, from that, you know, from that action. How does that really help me? That's of no value to me. You get what I'm saying? Um, sometimes a woman thinks, think that just because she giving you pussy or she's sucking your dick good, that's value. I mean, it's good, <laughs> right? Cause who don't like getting a dick suck? Who don't like getting pussy, but you know, who don't like sex? But I mean, sex is an even exchange. When I, when I give, when you give, when you give me pussy, I give you dick. So, you know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not doing anything for me. But see, a lot of guys, they get, they, you know, they lose sight. They lose sight of shit. You know, maybe they've been in the drought for a long time. Or maybe, maybe they just, they put pussy on a pedestal. So when a chick is fucking them on a consistent basis, they feel like that's value. That's not value, man. That's not value. The only thing, like you have to, un you have to understand what value is. Value is something that benefits you, but you won't know what benefits you unless you know who you are. You get what I'm saying? Because I mean, you could, you can have, you can have a wealth of resources, right? A person can have a wealth of resources to start a bakery, but if if I don't, if I don't fuck with bacon, then how does that help me? You get what I'm saying? If I don't, you know, a person can have a wealth of resources to do to do whatever. But if you're not, if you're not following my program, it really doesn't matter. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to like <clears throat> impart the game to you guys and let you know that you can't let a female dictate value. You can't let her dictate value. You understand? She could be, she could be a bad bitch, like sexy and cute. She could have money and she could fucking fuck your brains out. And she could still have no value to you. You get what I'm saying? Cause, cause as far as the sex, all she's really doing is, you know, taking your taking your fucking energy every day. She's taking your time, your attention, and energy. Right? She got money, but she's not spending it to help you do anything. You understand? She's not. She's not. She's not like helping you build your business. She's not really doing anything for you. 
All she's doing is, you know, buying herself nice dresses and getting her hair and nails and hair did. You know what I'm saying? And and that's it. Or or maybe she got kids and she's spending all the money on them. You see what I'm saying? If she, if she got a house, like I said, unless she is willing to put your name on the deed or like I said, y'all move into another spot or maybe she move in with you. I mean, I know <laughs> I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of guys frown on cohabitation and all that, but. I mean, you know, it just depends on the stages that you're at and, and where you're at with your bitch. But let's, I'm just, what I'm saying is she come, she come into the relationship with a house. Unless she's willing to fucking, like I said, put your name on the deed or, you know, so you could become part owner or, um, you know, move in with you and turn her house into a, a an income stream that benefits you directly. Where's the value? You get what I'm saying? So... You can't let a female dictate her value to you. She can be valuable. Anybody could, va could be valuable as they stand. But being valuable to you is a whole different story. You get what I'm saying? A lot is, is a lot. There's a lot of value out there. There's a lot of value out there. That's why, that's why we, we have the t-shirt, submissive women are sexy. You understand? Because a woman, a woman, that, everybody has value. And, and all, they, all women have some type of value out there. But the question is, how are they valuable to you? What do they do to actually benefit you? What is, what, is, what is she bringing? When you say bring it to the table, it's not just bring it to any table. You bringing that shit to my table. What are you bringing to my table? You get what I'm saying? So you guys got to, you know, keep that in mind. Keep that in your mind. And, and like I said, continue to build and improve your, 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 man, your manhood, your masculinity, your identity. So you can know exactly how a chick needs to benefit you so she doesn't so she doesn't come in dictating that shit because there's that's what happens a lot man there's there's misunderstandings out here these chicks swear they swear up and down that because that because they're valuable in general that they think they're valuable to you and it doesn't work that way it does not work that way you could be bitch could be a fucking millionaire you could be a fucking millionaire but until i decide how you benefit me all your millions, all your money doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. You get what I'm saying? Value is value, but value has to be specific. Value, when something is valuable to you, it has to be specific. You get what I'm saying? But And the only way you get to that you know, specificity is, uh, is to understand what you require, understand who you are, understand what you need from a female. And then, and then once she's actually submissive, and then she starts providing those resources in a specific way that will specifically benefit you that's when she actually becomes valuable right because you know like i said man you got a lot of these chicks out here they, they you know they feel a certain way they they on their high horse or they they feel like this or they feel like that and they and they have to remember that everything starts with you everything starts with you so you know it's it's, it's like it's like the type of chick that you know she thinks she can impress you with her you know, oh, I got I got a bachelor's degree or I got my doctorate and I'm making six figures and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Great. I'm happy for you. That's awesome. But how are you actually how are you helping me with my purpose? You understand what I'm saying? How are you how are you making things better for me so I can become the highest version of who I'm supposed to be? The closest thing to God. You get what I'm saying? Because you because that. <clears throat> When a woman has her own value, you know, there's, 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 a, there's, there's slightly like a, a deeper situation to it, right? Because women have their own value and they forget that they still have to submit to a man. You see what I'm saying? They have all this value. They got their degrees. They're making their money. They're doing this. They're doing that. But nine times out of ten, these, a lot of these women are empty. Why? Because they haven't found a man to submit to. They haven't found a man to actually help them fulfill their purpose, which is to become a mother and a wife to a man of value. You get what I'm saying? So even though they got all this value, even though they, they a boss bitch and all of this shit, they, they're empty inside. And the reason why they're empty is because a man actually dictates her value. You see what I'm saying? So she could have, she could have the world, but unless she has a man to, to enhance his situation, she really has nothing. They they try to they try to um, assess their own value, and then based on that, they try to assess their position in your life. 
You understand? And it's like, it doesn't work that way. It really doesn't work that way. Like when I say, when I say a woman has to submit, like you have to really, she has to really submit. You got to be careful, man. Cause sometimes these women, they, they fake submission. You understand? They fake submission and they, and they, they do that by, you know, they, they do stuff for you and you think, oh yeah, she's cooperative. She's doing this. She's doing that. But really she's just trying to, she's just trying to, um, establish her, her spot. You understand? She's trying to establish her position in your life and she's, she's doing it. She's not doing it under your authority. You understand what I'm saying? She's doing it under her authority based on all of the stuff that she's quote unquote doing for you, thinking that it's an actual benefit for you when, when really it's, it's not, she's, she's really just kind of, uh, filling the, you know, filling up, filling up some type of gap or taking up space. You understand? And if you're not, if you're not smart, if you're, if you're not managing your situation correctly, if you're not making sure she's submissive, if you're not vetting her like you, like you're supposed to be, then what, what's going to end up happening is that you'll have a woman that she has, she has a certain level of value, but she's not actually valuable to you. And then you'll actually put her in some type of position in your life and then her position will start start having her dictate think certain other things in your life and start making decisions in your life. And then you'll find that a lot of these decisions are not decisions that actually benefit you. And this is why you have a lot of, you know, married men walking around here depressed. You understand? A lot of people filing for divorce because they never actually, it never actually happened the way it was supposed to happen in the first place, which was the woman was supposed to be providing specific value for that man and submitting to him. That's it's called submission. She's she's a she's a uh she's a subsequent part of your mission, right? Your mission is to be the highest version of yourself, the closest thing to God, right? And she's supposed to be a part of that a part of that mission. But she never was a part of that mission. She was still doing her own thing. You see what I'm saying? She was still doing her own thing. She didn't actually submit to you. So she 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 had value, but she didn't have specific value. And you and you got you weren't you weren't careful. You didn't understand games. So you got fooled. You got fooled into thinking that you were you were dealing with a valuable woman, but that woman wasn't valuable to you. You see what I'm saying? So that's where that's where the trick comes in. And a lot of times it could get even worse where the woman she's valuable and she's competing with you. She's not even trying to fucking, you know, put herself in a certain position in your life. She's just straight up competing with you because, you know, deep down, she's, she's not she's not really submitting to no man. And she's a feminist and she believes in this and that. And she believes in a whole bunch of shit that have nothing to do with actually being a good woman to you. But she has a lot of value, though. But and you're and you see that value, but you don't realize that that value means nothing to you. You see what I'm saying? So. I just wanted to say that real quick. So because guys got to remember to have a certain level of awareness, you have to have a certain level of awareness. You have to understand that there is a hierarchy. There is a hierarchy It's God, man, then woman. And even, whatever, whatever you believe in, whatever you believe in, you believe in Allah, a supreme being, whatever, whatever you believe is above you. You understand? It don't matter. It don't matter what religion or what. But the bottom line is if you're trying to if you're trying to uh, maintain good game and let these women like know how to manage these women so you can actually have a fruitful life as a man, you have to understand that there's a, there's levels to this and you're at the top level. And the only thing that's above you is is that, you know, is that extra, you know, that extra special, you know entity that we all can, you know, look, look to as something powerful or something more powerful than ourselves, whatever that is to you. You understand? But you are, you are the, you are the apex. You are the apex. And then everything after that is, everything after that is a part of your enhancement. You understand? So the value that she provides has to be specific. It has to be beneficial to you directly. You understand? She has to act and she has to take that value and submit to you 
and use her value to help you with your purpose so you can become the highest version of yourself. So you can become the closest thing to God. All right? So get your t-shirts. You understand? Because like I said, I'm God to these hoes. Trying to, I'm trying to get y'all to get on board with the shit. Get on board with the shit. It, I mean, for some of y'all, it might sound crazy. It might sound crazy because it's like, oh, well, you know, but we're all equal and, you know, women are powerful and, and independent. And I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not supposed to think that way. And that's so chauvinistic. And, and it sounds like you're hating women. I don't hate women. I just know what position they play. You understand? I just know what position they play. And for the, for the shit to work like it's supposed to, they have to play their position. And you, you as a man, you give them their position. You can't let them establish their own fucking position. You get me? So get your t-shirts, get on Teespring. The link is in the description. I'm God to these hoes. Uh, I bet you the next bitch will. Binary as fuck. And sub submissive women are sexy. All right? And uh, shout out to all the supporters. Remember, the Game Kings is dropping on the Bad Boy membership September 1st. And it's dropping for everybody else to cop on Black Friday, November 27, 2020. All right, so it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. The truth is inside you. Peace.